You wouldn't mind giving up your bread to somebody who did not with you. So what they get you for? Pair of shoes. <laughs> From the store, or they stole someone's face. Oh, no, we just killed the dude first. We just left that that little detail, all right? Clyde Livingston shoes. Sweet feet. What? No, you did not steal no Clyde Livingston sweet feet shoes. It was a World Series cleat. Hold on, hold on, hold on. How did you get him? He's like the fastest guy in the majors, right? Oh, yeah. I had four triples in one game. Clyde Livingston donated his shoes to this uh, this homeless shelter. Did they have red X's on them? You got zero to talk. And yo, what else can you do, zero? Yeah. Yeah, you do. Tell us a little something of your background. Mr. Livingston. Besides the fact that it was your donated shoe that was stolen, what other connection might you have with this case? I'm just well, I was an orphan. I grew up in that home. Just a Fox. Uh, I don't understand what type of person steals from homeless children. I thought that was that made up. Oh, yeah. You know, fan of mine. The greatest basketball player of all time. That's right. It was all because of your no good, dirty, rotten, big stealing, great, great grandfather. That's who sealed our destiny. Why do you think none of his inventions work? Ha uh -huh. I learned from Ben. Doesn't matter how, how smart you are, you, you need luck. Something we ain't got. Yeah, what about your father, first Stanley Leonax? <laughs> he was so unlucky, you told me he made a fortune in the stock market. Well, uh, luck. Hey, he lost everything. He was rocked by kissing Kate Ball. Get out of my there! Come here, Luke. Are you kidding? She kiss him? Oh no, she only kissed the men she killed on the day. What you got doing, huh? Pass it up. Come on. Stop. She left the stranded in the bed. Girl Scout camp, nobody's gonna babysit you. Dig here. Now, if you find anything interesting, you are to report it to me or Pendanski. If the warden likes what you find, you get the rest of the day off. What am I supposed to be looking for, Mr. Sir? You're not looking for anything. You're building character. You take a bad boy, make him dig holes all day in the hot sun, and it turns him into a good boy. That's our philosophy here at Camp Green Lake. One down, ten million to go.
Can you throw in another pile or something? Because it keeps getting my own. Watch what you throw in dirt, Stanley. It was all because of your no good, dirty box, big steel, and great big grandfather. He started in a little village in Matthew. He was shoveling in Morris Matthew's barn when Myra and his beautiful daughter walked by. And that was it. So what does your great great grandfather do? He goes to a fortune teller, uh, Madame Zeroni, for advice. Or do you think of that as Myra Vincent? No, that's when our troubles began. Listen to Madame Zeroni. You should go to America. That's where my son is. That's your future, not Myra Vincent. I'll kiss and empty as a flow of water. Mr. Mackey. I would like your permission to marry your daughter. You too! Hmm? Igor Barkov has offered his fattest pig for her. What do you got? A heart full of love. <laughs> <laughs> He's just the boy! I'd rather have a fat pig. <laughs> <laughs> Morris Venti is a schmuck. Okay, here's what you do. Take the lead. But this solves nothing. So it will grow. Every day, you carry the pig up the mountain. Make it drink the water from the stream. While you sit. If only, if only, the woodpecker sighs. The bark on the tree was as soft as the sky. While the wood bit below, hungry and lonely, he cries to the moon. Every day the tree will be back. Better just go back to this. Ooh, it's strong. Now. After you give the pig to Menti, you must carry Madame Zeroni up the mountain and sing while I do, so I can get strong too. <laughs> but if you forget to come back for Madame Zeroni, you and your family will be cursed for all days and eternity. Water, huh? water. <laughs> a little water, so good. Let's go! Let's go! So how'd it go your first day, young man? Got some blisters on you? Big fat blisters, yeah. Don't worry. Everything turns to cattle spins. Let's fly. Nick. Fire up! Who do you choose? Igor Barkov or Ilya Yeldiz? You want me to decide? It's right, my blossom. <laughs> She's so oh, I don't know. Did you pick that more? They are the same. Number. It was Dick Todd. Okay, I'm ready. Then go. Keep my pig as wedding present. Dinner in the tent. Here's a mole. I think you eat some dirt. Here's a weird dude. Most don't eat dirt. 
So that was it. He took Madame Zoroy's advice and went to America like her son. But the dummy forgot to go back and carried Madame Zoroy up the mountain. If you forget to come back for Madame Zoroy, you and your family will be crushed for all those on the earth. <laughs> Mr. Surgeon, shoot it, then you'll be in the hole. <laughs> Did you know that each one's got exactly 11 spots? Yeah, man. If you ever get close enough to count, <laughs> it's dead. Look, it's the lizards we're working for, man. We build the houses for them. I mean, yesterday I saw like 10 of them in one hole. Zero look like human like no no dude. What we living for that, man? Mr. Sir said it. Are we digging to build some cabbages? <laughs> 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 The food's great. Not as good as yours, of course, but I like it. We've been out on the lake all day. Where's the person going to the bathroom around here? Pick the whole way, no. Once I pass the swimming test, I get to learn how to water ski. I made lots of friends. Oh, you're going to hell for sure. <laughs> and the water is cool and refreshing. You like my counselor. He's a doctor. Smells like puke from a mule been ruminating on asparagus for two weeks. He's been really enjoying the wildlife. Well, the other boys aren't bad kids. Like me, they were just in the wrong place for a long time. Well, that's it for now, Mom. Say hi to Dad and Grandpa for me. Love, your son, Stan. Will you ride soon? Oh, you miss your mommy and daddy. I don't want them to work. They don't care. You mean let them leave me? The glass be rid of you. Thank you. 